Forty years ago, a probe was sent towards space, toward new horizons, toward the new galaxy. This probe is known as the Voyager probe. Voyager carries the hope of an entire civilization, the hope of making contact with another kind of life form. In this purpose, the most relevant proof of the existence of humankind were inserted in this probe. We can find, among others, photos of us during our daily life, scientific data, music from different cultures, and the coordinates of the Earth inside the solar system. But after thousands and thousands of kilometers traveled across the galaxy, all hope seems to be lost. Until that day. Let's see how would react aliens living in a prehistoric planet discovering the probe. As expected, the civilization is not evolved enough to understand the information on this probe. So what if Voyager lands on a planet like the actual house? So Rick, you told me that this probe landed in Zirkenia two weeks ago, right? Exactly, Morty. And we already discovered some really interesting elements inside of it. The probe was probably sent away by some civilization from another galaxy. The radiation department already analyzed a uranium fragment, and the probe was probably sent away between 39 and 41 years ago. Okay, and so what are we looking 
what are we going to look at it uh, inside it? Uh, are we? Are there any other object we can analyze or use? Of course, there are. Oh, look at there are some pictures oh. showing humans just like us, some babies, and maybe a photo of what they call their planet. But the most relevant part of the probe is this Golden City prototype. The thing is that we actually don't know how to play it. I mean, what should be the rotation speed for this technology? This information must be written somewhere. Uh, I mean, what do we need exactly? It's a rotation frequency that we need. Exactly. So, um, let's look at it. Um, yeah, I think I saw something similar that could be useful for us. Here, look, here, look at it. That's the hydrogen uh, spin flip transition. Yeah, it's uh, that is represented here. That's a really good job, Mordi. That's smart because the hydrogen atom is the same in all the universes. So the frequency which is emitted by the atom is a constant. Yeah, and if I remember well, uh, the the period of the wave is about uh, 0 0.7 uh, nanoseconds. Exactly. So maybe if we just play uh, at this speed, rotation speed, uh, yeah. it could be play uh, good music. Okay, fine. Let's try this then. Come on. Oh, cross, cross, what is this music? Just stop it, stop it, yeah. stop it. Stop it. Oh. Ah, horrible. We should have missed something here. Um, I don't know. Here, there's a, read, there's a number written in binary code. So maybe if we just do a simple multiplication, it will give us the good rotation speed. So, 5113380864, which makes. 3.6 seconds. That's exactly what we need, I think. Let's try again. Yeah. Uh, the brand new music first uh, on the World Top 50 uh, chart. I hope we could contact them someday. Uh, do you think it's even possible? Well, there's something that apparently looks like a map of their galaxy, showing the way to which the planets they call Earth. But we don't really understand how the planets are lined up in this galaxy, so if we send someone to meet them, we are not even sure he will survive. A civilization like us couldn't reach our planet because of our poor technology advances. Let's see if some future life form could understand how to get to us. Hey, look, there is a map on the disk. Do you have any idea how to read it? Mm, I'm not sure. I have to make a quick search. Computer, can you scan this map? It's already done, sir. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, computer, project this on my desk. Okay, so if I understand well, those lines are the directions of stars or astronomical objects, and there are also binary codes on those lines. Hmm, what do those numbers refer to? I don't know, what are those stars emitting? Light, and light is a mix of different waves with their own frequencies. Hmm, that is not possible. We have only one number for each direction, so it can't be light. Is there any object emitting only one frequency? Yeah, you're right. Pulsars do this. So there are 1, 2, 14 pulsars with their own frequencies. Computer, make a comparison with our data. Searching. Done. I found only 10 out of the 14. Computer, now find the location of the star of this civilization. Triangulation in progress. Done. Projection of the result. So, that's the star of the system. Now, find their planet and estimate the time of travel to reach their planet. This is a picture of their planet. I estimate the travel time at 19.45250925 minutes. Let's prepare the spaceship and meet this ancient civilization. <laughs> 